So what do oil, coffee, mustard, and grass all have in common? They are nasty when they stain your clothes and tough to get out. Pre-wash stain removers promise extra help in getting them out, but do they really work? Consumer Reports' latest tests reveal which stain fighters beat the rest. Chocolate is the worst stain I get on my clothes because I'm a chocolate lover. Coffee uh, is probably the worst one that I've had. On my jeans, very dirty doggy paws. Stains are inevitable, so that's why Consumer Reports just compared several different concentrated spray-on stain removers from OxyClean, Shout, and Spray and & Wash. CR tasked the stain removers with typical yet difficult stains. We use 14 different swatches, each saturated with a different stain. Don't let these pretty colors fool you. You're looking at swatches stained with things like coffee, chocolate ice cream, grass, blood, gravy, cherry juice, lipstick, baby food, used motor oil, and mustard, just to name a few. Testers spray half of each piece of stain fabric with the stain remover. Rub the stain remover into the stain, let it soak for five minutes or overnight, and then wash them with a normal load of laundry. This instrument measures the color of the stained fabric swatches before and after treatment with the stain removers. An additional test was done by comparing the stain removers to two of CR's top-rated liquid laundry detergents. So what we did is we took some of the best detergents that we have, applied them to the swatches, rubbed them into the stain, and then put them in the laundry and washed them. And we found out that some of these detergents did better than a lot of the stain removers. In fact, only one of the stain removers performed better than the two laundry detergents. It's the OxyClean Max 4 Spray. Or consider the top-rated Tide Plus Ultra Stain Release or Persil Pro Clean Stain Fighter Regular Detergents. Both came close to the cleaning power of the OxyClean Spray. Just remember, before you use any stain remover on an actual stain test, you want to do it in an inconspicuous part of the garment, like inside the seam, to make sure that you won't have any color bleed or any other problems. And we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 